so this is magnetic static today uh, we are uh, this session is not sensitive to either it is magnetic static eddy current or other kind of analysis today it's not sensitive because we are learning how to create figures right how to create a design how to create a sweep in that design uh, let's say by creating a circle you need to create a cylinder or uh, like say a hollow structure around it right uh, around the axis so something kind of that right or so, uh, let's say a symmetric design so we'll uh, will more focus will be more focused on that today right so it's it's kind of uh, like hands on and more artistic in a way right so it's not necessary that you learn few things you know how tools work but then if i leave you alone uh, it all depends on you and how you use your artistic brain to get things done because at the end of the day you have a visualization a image right you need to create let's say for example you need to draw the cores right uh, the e shaped cores now uh, you need to play around geometry in your head and you must uh, figure out look okay, okay this is the process i will go now your process and my process might be different because it, it's a drawing at the end right so if if i if someone gives me a pen and paper and someone gives you pen and paper uh, and says okay draw elephant not necessary that we will both start from the same point right you can start from tail i can start from head uh, i can take different shapes and eventually end up drawing a elephant which looks much more similar to yours but the process might be completely different so it's it's all part of uh, the all available tools and how you use those tools right there are different shapes there are different tools right uh, so we'll discuss more on tools right how to use those tools later on we, when we think like holistically when we design something it all depends on you actually so i can't enforce you to draw something in that certain matter you, like i can influence you but it's not necessarily the same right uh, so i will just give you, give you the tips and tricks right and uh, the know how of how everything here goes on right so when i uh, so as you can see i'm right now in the draw menu and uh, because it's empty and we need to draw something right so let's start first by drawing because until unless we don't draw model will not be there and we can't work out anything after that right so all these things 3d components models must be there first so this is basic physical component that we expect right and then everything comes after that the boundaries the excitation the parameter the mesh the analysis right the optometric swipe if you need to make and the results at the end or if you want to visualize few things the field overlays right so these come uh, the all these things are in sequence actually so you go from top to bottom approach right not from bottom to top so uh, as you can see there is 3d component and there is model so we need to create the 3d components and the models right so first let's start with that it will be a lot easier if you have the handheld mouse and you, uh, if you don't use the like trackpad while you are using in your laptop right that is not recommended especially when yeah. you are using cad software Right. You mean uh, so, the uh, what you said? I don't need to use pad. Yeah, don't use the trackpad when you are using the drawing tools, right? Use the handheld mouse which has that uh, scroll button in the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sure. So that will be a lot easier because look. Uh, so th th this thing that I'm doing right now, as you, you can see, this. So I'm doing this by scrolling. The middle yes. scroll. Yeah. So it's a lot easier to zoom in and zoom out, right? and yes. uh, so uh, maybe you can note note this down somewhere like uh, so for zoom in zoom out you can use a scroll now uh, let's say uh, you you need to move around right um, without disturbing things right without disturbing things without rotating anything right you just press shift right shift key you hold the shift yeah. key yeah and then an arrow appears a four headed arrow appears and then you can you can move around right so this yeah. is this is a very very normal circuit almost every application has this right so this you need to remember right otherwise like you will you will mess up things uh, because uh, after you create uh, when you like move the axis around you sometimes get confused like where is it right and then you again need to reorganize things now, now to organize those things and to see the perspective in exactly that way uh, there are certain set perspectives right so these are known as perspectives uh, you can see in the draw menu so um, th these are very common things here i will not discuss about these things uh, this 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 menu here right you can see th this is to hide and unhide the objects okay so this red it means you will hide certain objects right and the green means uh, that that is specific object you will unhide it or you will view that object 
and double tick means you will unhide everything that means everything becomes visible so everything in that is in that project becomes visible so if it's uh, made hidden then it will become visible to you at once right otherwise these are for selective uh, hide and unhide tools right so we will come back to this when we draw again so uh, these tools here these are for again uh, i said so i did this by scrolling you can also do the same thing from zoom menu right you can go to zoom and then what you can do is you can do like this okay you select the area and it zooms in in that selected area you're getting it right yeah yeah you need to zoom out you do the same thing right so this is uh, so pan as i said the panning is uh, what i did by using the shift key so i can also go manually right and then use the pan rotate so you can go here and use these uh, rotate through current axis or rotate usually like this this is this is normal rotation so if i select this now i can rotate anywhere right like this like this right so yeah yeah so now next thing is uh, when you go in the middle uh, let, let's let's do this first let's draw uh, one of the shapes right it will be a lot easier to visualize so uh, what you can do is so after rotation let's say uh, something happened and now you lost the perspective right uh, so you are not sure if that that that's the axis how it was oriented before now you go to orient right there are certain set perspectives like the top view the bottom view the right view left view front view you need to use this as per your simplification as per your convenience right so i basically uh, don't use trimetric and diametric that is just not my preference right i use isometric uh it it makes a lot easier for me to work with right and i use top bottom views as per i require right so right now i will do isometric right now it oriented itself again right so a, a little bit different than before but it's fine right now let's let's draw right let's draw let's start with the cuboid which is a given set there right so when, when i pick any object in ansys uh it gives me it, it gives me a dot right like this you can see the dot now this dot is from where the object actually starts right uh for example uh it will be much more clear if i draw a sphere let's say we will we draw 2d or, or a sphere okay so when i click in the center so as you can see it started from that point right and now it hovers around that and it revolves around that right so uh, it it doesn't start from the corner it starts from the center so that point will give you the reference that this is the center from where the radius starts of any object okay so let's say uh, this this is what i need now how you know that what kind of size you are expecting this might be a question in your head right so yes. let's say i i only need a radius of 2 mm or let's say i only need a radius of 5 mm now how am i making that right i have no control in this this is my mouse working now so you can see the reference here uh again i will i'll show you this box here you can see this is a measurement data it actually show, shows you some kind of reference but it is very hard to track right you can see the x distance y distance and z distance so from that you can get an idea of it right you can see if you notice the x distance it goes on increasing right in x direction y direction and z direction so th that is where you can get an idea but you see it's very less right and we let's say for example we want 2 mm radius so what you can do is you can use uh, while this is like this only you can use your scroll button the middle button is scroll button and you can increase or decrease the scale you can see this is the scale here 0 0.0015 0, right this this is in mm you can see this is the scale in the middle now the scale is very low as you can see so i need like a bigger scale right so i'm zooming out now you can see we are reaching that scale right you can view the screen right yeah yeah it's changing it's changing now let's say we want a 2 mm radius right so we have reached the 2 mm part as you can see so it's almost 2 mm right now to confirm this you can see the measurement data there so let's say this is y axis and i'm concerned about y axis here so if i take the cursor to the y axis so i can see right i can zoom out a little bit it's 1.4 mm right now i can zoom out more i can zoom out more right it's 1.6 now i can zoom out more right 
Okay, the window here. Okay, so you can see this is 2 mm wide distance. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. So I will just click here now. Now this is this is this is going to create a sphere, right? Now definitely this is 2 mm because I just calculated that like I, I just observed that in the measurement data. This is one of the methods, right? One of the methods, not the only method. So now the object is created fine, right? Now you want to rotate or do few things or let's say you want to change the size again. Now, once the object is created, as you can see, a few things appeared here. Uh, now, now there is something known as solid, right? Now there is something known as vacuum. There is something inside it known as a sphere and there's something known as a create sphere. Now, all these things are levels and layers, right? So first thing is the solid is created. So this is the most major branch. So inside the model, this is the major branch. Okay, some solid is created. Now what that solid is, it's a vacuum. So it actually defines the material. So the second thing that we come in branch, like the first branch says, okay, it's a solid, a solid is created. The second thing is the can, material uh, of that solid. Sorry, I'm uh, cutting you. Can I create this so that uh, it will be, you know? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, you can try. So basically, yeah, yeah. So this was 2D figure, right? So let me tell you one more thing because 2D figures are um, like two axis things, right? Yeah. Sometimes you need to change axis uh, as per your design. Like let's say you have a certain orientation in uh, 3D and now you want to cut something by XZ axis. So can you view the XZ axis there? So this is the vertical axis, right? XZ axis. Yeah. So in, in your perspective, so you need to go and change the axis. So this axis you are currently selecting is X, Y axis. So anything you draw will be drawn on X, Y plane. Okay. Right. So here now, let, uh, you yeah, just... you change the axis from there. Let's say you want to draw now in X, Z because you X, need Z. some oh. vertical, right? Now this is vertical. Now the grid changed. Now you want to cut this eclipse, right? By yeah. another eclipse. You can even try drawing, right? Now, Everything changes now. It will uh, draw a vertical uh, like thing, right? So right. do the same thing. Repeat the same thing, and you will get a vertical thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's complete. I guess it's not complete. The object is not it's still not drawn. Oh, okay, it's it's drawn. It's drawn. There are two clips created, uh, but it's not selected. There is no color. Okay, this is, yeah. This is yep. the one yep. glass yep. I yep. drive. Yep. This is the first one, X Y. Okay, okay. Now just change the view through Orient menu. Just go there yeah. and select. Yeah, select top view. Top view. Top view. Yeah. Yep. You can see only one clip is visible, right? One circle is visible. Yes. And one is exactly crossing it, right? Yeah. So yeah, because that is drawn on the XZ plane. You can yeah. only view XY plane right now. Now again, change the view to front. Front. Front, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. You both are missing right now because that is another one. Maybe you can change it to right or left. I guess one will be visible. Right or left? Left. Yeah. yeah. This is this is one, right? So this is XZ one. So that the, the one that you drew in XZ plane. So you can see yeah. XZ plane. This yeah. is a clip you drew in XZ plane. So this is how you must remember things, right? Uh, and uh, you must be sensitive to like what you're using, like which plane you are using. So later on, uh, you might be needing all this stuff because uh, the 3D version will run in any direction, right? It runs in X direction, it runs in Y direction as well, it runs in Z direction as well. And you need to calculate all those values measurements. Now uh, let's do one thing. Uh, I, I won't share my screen. I guess you can do that on your own. Uh, let's do the, let's do the same thing. Uh, at first, like uh, just delete this, whatever you have drawn, delete it. Now to delete this one, you can select the object and delete it from there, right? One by one. Or yeah. next thing, what you can do is you can go to the model menu. You can see the line diagram there, the flow diagram. Sorry, not that one. Uh, the ju just the beside one, which is visible here. This which um, one? What is name? Um, can can you see the uh, the middle middle uh, the toolbar? Middle toolbar, this one. Yep, yep, that one. So you can see if ellipse one is there. Yeah. So, so you can yeah you, you can select multiple items from there, 
when there are number of items, right? You can yes. select the multiple items and just delete it. Like press the delete key. Yep. Right? So it's gone, right? Yeah. So this is this is how you do. Yeah, now it's gone. It's not there. No, no model is there. Now again, yeah. uh, let's create it again. So go to draw menu, right? Uh, select the uh, yeah, that one. Now uh yeah, let's just, just click there. Click once. Now, yeah, yeah don't do anything. Uh, but uh, uh, first see the bottom menu uh, where there is hide zero message, hide progress, yeah, DS, yeah, yeah. divide. Hide it. You can see, yeah. right? But don't go there using your mouse. What you do is you press your tab key on your keypad, like yeah, keyboard, yeah, I did it. right? Yeah. Now it went to DX. It went to DX, right? So you give values of DX, DY, and DZ. Uh, so let's, let's... DX, DY, Z, what's, what's the will be um, included in the figure? Uh, I guess uh, these these are the real values of the radius, right? So let's just try. Not necessarily it must be the origin itself. You can you can place it anywhere. Okay, I enter. Again, press enter. Okay, yeah, fine. I think yeah, it's okay. Uh, okay. Mm, but uh, I'm really confused why it asks for y value because when you're creating something in exit plane, y must be ignored generally. Uh, I'm not sure because it's a 2D figure. It's not a 3D figure, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can you can try rotating it to confirm that it is a 2D figure. So what you do is you place the mouse in center of it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now just yeah, try to rotate it. Yeah. Right. This is a 2D figure. It's a flat thing. Yeah, it's 2D figure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, this is one, and uh, what what you can do is you can hold on, uh, like uh, you can deselect the rotate. For example, right now you can deselect the rotate, right? Yeah. So you want to rotate. What you can do is you can hold the scroll button. You can press it. Can you press it? You, yeah. See, the same thing happens. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, now next thing is, uh, can you orient it into isometric again? Yep. And do fit all. Fit all. Go and click and fit all. Yeah, so uh, this is how your axis seems in like it, it, it looks in XYZ, right? In isometric. Mm. So it looks a bit off. Let's say you want to rotate it uh, not through middle, but just you want to rotate it uh, like uh, without without mixing up the uh, like a vertical, uh, like uh, sorry, the horizontal zone. So what you do is you go to the sides of it. Uh, go to the extreme sides, uh, not not there, to, to, the, to the grid side. Uh, the sides of the grid here yeah there yeah there and then you click this scroll again click this scroll, scroll. yeah click click this scroll okay i click it yeah try to rotate by clicking this scroll yeah you see the rotation is different now yeah yeah it it, it is not uh, like uh, it is just moving in the 2d axis that means yes. uh, for this i guess it is uh, i'm not sure which axis is this uh, but it is 2D axis. The, uh, it is not moving one of the axis. It is making one of the axis as a pivot point, and it moves uh, like around that axis, right? So same thing right. you can try from another side, right? The same thing will happen, right? Uh, yes. Now it is not happening. You went a little bit closer. So there is some kind of distance attached to it, right? Okay. So, so you I go am, little, yeah. yeah, yeah. You go a little farther, it happens. You go a little closer, it will not happen. Right. right. So it's distance sensitive, right? So there's an object, there's some kind of clearance distance, and then uh, you go a little bit near, just try a little bit near, go a little bit near, and yeah, now try. Now it's not happening, right? So this is yeah. what happens. So uh, so depending on what you want to do, what kind of rotation you want to do, uh, you don't need to go to the menu all the time. You just scroll, use your scroll button, and the kind of uh, like rotation you want, th this is possible immediately. Right?